always upset with modern tech because there's basically no innovation anymore. Well, I'm addressing that today because in this little leatherette bag, I have a headphone that was first released in the 80s. So this stuff is older than I am. However, Bear Dynamic released a modern version a few years back. So even this one's like three, four years old. But let's have a look at the Bear Dynamic DT990 edition, 600 ohm. That's a lot of ohms. Now, reviewing headphones is incredibly difficult. With like graphics cards, I can give you FPS numbers, coolers, I can give you temperature results. With headphones, it's basically down to what I think it sounds like, and that's really difficult to convey over video because I can't just put a microphone in here and let you listen to what they sound like. That would be really stupid. So let's start with the easy bit, that's build quality. Let's start off with the band. Uh, it's a pleather band, so this is not real leather, it's like some, yeah plastic leather, but it's really comfortable. I haven't really noticed a lot of hotspots or anything. It's a, a pretty narrow headband, but comfortable enough. Now, what I don't like about the headband is at the sides, there are these metal clips and I have no idea what they're there for. They're just really sharp metal clips. You could probably cut your finger on them. I haven't had that happen to me yet, but really sharp clips that don't seem to have any purpose whatsoever. Now. Below that is more metal, um, this little C-shaped metal to hold the cup in place where you know the pivot is and all that stuff. There is adjustment here, so you have some steps in your adjustment, tiny little dots on the inside so you can see that both sides are extended the same amount. Um, that's really nice, but again, the finish on here is quite sharp. It's not been rounded afterwards or anything. Um, you're not going to cut yourself on this bit, but on these tiny little razor blades here on top, you possibly could. Now, as you can see, Cable goes into the left ear cup and then there are little cables connecting both ear cups together. I kind of like this design, but what I don't like is that the cable is not removable. Now it comes with a three meter long cable. That's great for on your desk, for example, and you're not gonna use these in public anyway. But I would like to see removable cables just in case you break one. And so the cups themselves then tree tone. So there's black on the inside and then it goes to a gray band followed by this gold tinted plastic louver over the driver. So it's a fully open design, but because it has this louver design, it seems like semi open if that's the thing. Now I can't swivel this one open all the way to show you the cups, but those are easy to remove. You can get different ones if you want to, but I actually really like these velour Cups, they are a bit gray, but with like a black sheen to them as well. And they really fit with the look of the headphone. Very comfortable. I could wear this an entire day, no problem. So the comfort part of it is really good. Accessory wise, also really good. You get this bag with like a very dense foam in it. So it's all very nicely packaged. And if you want to travel with it, you can put it in the bag and it will arrive in perfect condition. As I said at the start of this video, this is the 600 ohm model. These are incredibly difficult to drive and my amplifier started overheating when using these. So you might want to get a really good amplifier in order to use these. So then the important bits, the reason you actually buy these, what do they sound like? And I'll start off in the lower range. So bass, like sub bass, obviously you don't get that with headphones, but the bass on these is really good. For an open back headphone, I was incredibly surprised with just how punchy it is, how vivid the bass is. It's just there, it's super fast, accurate, very responsive, just to the point, but it's not like sharp bass. It sounds a bit weird, but sometimes bass can sound like it slaps you in the face. This is like more rounded, if that makes sense. Now, moving on to the mid-tones, I think that's where it really shines. Um, other reviewers may disagree with me, but I kind of like how these sound in the mids. Just clear, accurate, and just spot on, I think. I, I really like them for the mid-tones. And then the treble, it's a bit all over the place, like you get with many headphones in this price range, but it still does incredibly well. Um, sometimes an S sound can be a little bit too loud, in my opinion, but it just sounds really freaking good. And especially at the price point, these are like 170 euros. But that brings me to a bit of a question on why this headphone exists. As I mentioned, you need a really powerful amplifier just to drive these. And what that means is that the type of person who's gonna buy one of these 170 euro headphones 
will already have invested a lot of money in his other equipment. So then aren't these too cheap and shouldn't they maybe improve build quality to approach that high-end audience who wants the really high-end stuff? Maybe, but then these also come in like lower impedance variants, which anyone can buy. Uh, the 600 ohm, definitely great option if you already have all your amplifier equipment. I actually personally bought these to test out an amplifier um, and it's really pushing that thing. But it's really a good headphone if you already have you know all the other equipment to drive it. Um, and for everyone else, just get a lower end version. I really like the comfort of them. Um, I really just like them for listening to music, but also for gaming being open back. It has quite a broad sound stage. It's not as good at the whole imaging thing where in some games with some headphones, you can just aim at someone without even looking just by sound. You can't really do it as, do it as well with these, but it's still a really good all round headphone. And I would definitely recommend it if you have the equipment to drive it. Anyway, that was it for me. I'm gonna take a rest again and um, see you guys in the next one.